right, let's talk about the Detroit Lions. We love to talk about the Lions, especially around draft time, because the last few years, they've been making a lot of smart moves, a lot of great pickups for this team. And I don't think that will be any different this time around, especially with the position they are targeting. I think they're about to round out one of their best uh, groups on this team and potentially give Aiden Hutchinson an absolutely phenomenal running mate. Let's get into the article and we'll talk more about it on the other side. This is from heavy.com. It says the Detroit Lions have not been coy about their interest in Missouri defensive lineman Darius Robinson. Meeting with the Detroit native twice in the lead up to the NFL draft, one insider believes Robinson could be set in stone as Detroit's first round draft pick. In a breakdown of the pre-draft buzz surrounding the Lions, ESPN analyst Matt Miller quoted a scout close to the team who believed Detroit may already have their top pick decided. Here's your landing spot for Darius Robinson, said the scout, who Miller noted had crossed paths with the Lions decision makers multiple times this year and has shared conversations with them about team needs. Nick, I think this is a great choice for Detroit, filling in one last hole on their defense. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this one, but Detroit fans, in the comment section below, we've talked about how great you have been in the draft the past couple of years, but it's not all sunshine and roses. There have been some misses in the past, and that's why I want to know, in the comment section below, talking draft time, Who's been the biggest draft bust in Detroit Lions history? Let us know your picks in the comments section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this latest potential move by Detroit? Yeah, I think it would be absolutely the perfect addition. And let's dive into who Darius Robinson is as a football player. And he just screams like a Dan Campbell, Detroit Lions kind of guy. He was not heavily recruited. He was very late to the recruiting prospects. He was only ranked at number 46 strong sign defensive end in his recruiting class, right? So number 46 in his entire class at strong side defensive end, kind of a niche uh, lane there to be in. And he's number 46. Again, not a big time recruit. He goes to Missouri and through three seasons, he records a grand total of one sack, right? And despite that, here's what I really love about him. Despite that three seasons, one sack defensive end, he gets named team captain and in heading into his fourth season at Missouri. That means this is a guy who commands the respect of his teammates. He commands the respect of the locker room. He is known as a leader at Missouri. Listen, his former teammate Cody Schrader said this about him. I said, he's the best leader I've ever been around. We went as he went. And uh, Robinson had a breakout season for Missouri, leading them to a big-time bowl victory over Ohio State. Had eight and a half sacks this past season, first-team All-SEC. And that's another element I love about this guy as a prospect. I love players that get better and better and better and better. I love when the trajectory is up. I'm always concerned with prospects when they have you know a great sophomore year and then they dip in the junior year, and then all anyone cares about the fact is they had a good sophomore year. I'm like – you know, if you're in your early 20s, you should just be getting better and better and better. More time in the weight room, more time in the film room, refining your craft. You should be getting better. And that's exactly what Robinson is doing here. So when you look at the fact that he's heading in the right direction, he's you know trending in terms of getting much better of a football player while also being a phenomenal leader, a locker room guy, a guy with grit, a guy who had to overcome being a minor recruit. This is a guy who dealt with a lot of injuries in college, right? Twice he had seasons severely limited early on in his career due to ankle injuries and came back from both of those to end up being a first-team All-SEC player and then being named one of the outstanding players at Senior Bowl during Senior Bowl week, right? This is a guy who is trending in the right direction. He's not getting the hype as other players because his measurables aren't up to snuff in terms of you know how athletic he looks and how fast he looks. He's got good measurables, don't get me wrong, but he doesn't just jump off the page the way some other prospects do. But I tell you what, it's these guys. It's the guys who are mentally strong, the guys who are getting better with enough of a good uh, skill set, tool set in terms of their physical attributes already that could become superstars. I think the, the fact that the Lions are really eyeing this guy is a great sign. I think it would be a perfect pickup for this Detroit defense. Yeah, Nick, and I've been looking at the stats of this guy. I've been looking at his career on paper so far, and I love the point you brought up. This is a guy, like you said, who is a Dan Campbell guy. He's a gritty grinder. And like you said, he started at the bottom. He started at Missouri in 2019. He stayed there for five years until 2023. It's like you said, each year, if you look at his stats, if you look at his PFF grades, slowly grinding, climbing up the ranks every year, getting better and better and better. Till this final year, 83.1 overall grade for defensive. That's an awesome grade. 81.4 
run defense grade, 78.4 pass rush grade. This guy looks like a great prospect for Detroit. And I love the fact that this is a guy who came to Missouri. He didn't get a ton of play time early on, but he stuck with it. He didn't go hit the transfer portal. He didn't go do anything. He stayed there. He grinded. He hit the, uh, the weight room. He hit a uh, spring ball, made himself a better player, got himself working up the ranks. And finally, like you said, his leadership gets noticed. His play gets noticed. This is a guy who, like you said, I think he screams Detroit line. And I think this is why we see all of these reports saying this guy linked to Detroit, because I think he's checked every box that they could want. And this guy just seems like the article said, it seems like he's a lock for Detroit's first round pick because he just absolutely is the kind of player they want on this team. And I am excited to see what this guy can do opposite of Aiden Hutchinson. Because as I allude to, I think this would make them have one of the strongest defensive lines in the NFL. You have Hutchinson, you now have DJ Reader, you have McNeil. Then on top of that, you get Robinson on the opposite side. This would be a ferocious defensive line. Quarterbacks, watch out because Detroit would be coming for you next year with this addition. Data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, health records, even your relatives. It's all out there. That's why we use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows us which data brokers are selling our information and automatically submits opt-out requests for us. Cleaning up our information not only reduces the amount of that stupid spam we all get, but it also protects us from hackers who could use this information to help them access our social media accounts, bank accounts, and other sensitive information. Aura also does much more to protect us and our families from online threats. We also get features like antivirus protection, VPNs, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. That's really key. One location, get all this great stuff. It's really easy to set up. And the best of all, we get everything at one affordable price. And you may already have one or two of these tools already, but not having Aura is like locking the front door and leaving the back door wide open. Aura is always on doing the hard work to keep you safe so you can focus on other tasks and have peace of mind. We value our privacy and we value yours. You can go to Aura.com slash Saturday to start your two-week free trial. Also, link below in the description. Again, Aura.com slash Saturday for your free two-week trial.